So I was relaxing and calming my nerves and then I get a call. Say, Chewy, you have an interview. And I say, don't disturb me, let somebody else do it. And then they said, it's Jackie B. So I said this, I have to see. They call me Chewy Chew for Bella Niger. Let's go talk to Jackie B. <laughs> Jackie B. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Chewy C, by the way. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> oh, you, know, you know me? Yes, I do. Of course I do. First and foremost, I have to apologize. I couldn't be there with you. And I had to head out of the country for a business trip. And But when I heard like yo chewy it's jackie b i'm like this i have to see and if you want you know you can i mean you can forget all the media around just come i'll send you a ticket right. come hang on you know you need to relax I'm ready i am ready now i'm ready this saturday let me just finish my media around so please buy the ticket and book it down don't fail nah, me come on, now. <laughs> <laughs> you're enjoying i can see with the robe and everything you're chilling i'm jealous and you should be chilling like this too you should be. I know. I can't wait to be able to chill like this. I haven't chilled like this in a while. My body's doing me somehow. I want it. But we have to handle business first. Then we'll do that too. <laughs> I like a focus queen, you know, but because first and foremost, you're looking beautiful. Like, you know what? Thank you. Let's not have an interview, okay? This is a diary session. This is a special diary session. Ah, nice. I've missed Biggie already, so I don't mind that. <laughs> Okay, you can ask me questions. Forget about all of that. I'm breaking protocol. Okay. I've never done this for anybody okay. before. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Look, at me. Look at me. Thank you. Oh yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Jackie. I, I have to ask, right? You're you know, designer, event planner, your 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 bundle of talent. But with your background, right? You have you're the you're the child of a VIP. A right. politician in Nigeria. And then you also have your, your son, like, leaving them and going into the Big Brother house. Walk me through that conversation. Yeah. What was that What was that conversation like? Who, how did you talk to them and how did they receive it at first? Hmm. Um, just like with almost everything in my life, uh, my family is like a huge, huge part of my life. And there's really no big moves that I make without my family's knowledge and support really. It doesn't necessarily mean that they need to permit me, but I need their support. Um, and then with me, I have a son who's, who I'm completely responsible for. So when I make certain moves like this, I have to be sure that he's going to be able to handle it. You know, This was a very big move for me. So I had to mentally prepare. Of course, my whole family was excited for me. This, is a huge, this was a huge opportunity and a huge platform. An opportunity that comes once in a lifetime. So of course, like my family were excited, but I mean, with my child, I had to make sure he was also excited. But I had to kind of work his work his mind around him, prepare him for to, to the best of my ability um, for what was to come. You know, after me going on the Big Brother show, um, it wasn't easy for sure. I'm sure people could tell. Um, from me being on the show, I mean, I miss my son so much. Um, I'm very much attached to him. We are both attached to each other. Um, we lived together for literally almost 10 years, uh, sleeping almost on the, on the same bed almost every night. Um, I've never mm -hmm. been away from him for more than, say, five days or a week tops, you know, at once. And that happens once in a while. So this was a very difficult time for me. And that's why I kept mentioning my son, you know, like it's a huge part of my life, you know. Um, so it wasn't easy, but at the end of the day, I knew why I was out there and he also knew why I was out there. And even though it was very difficult for me, I was able to handle it. I was able to survive it. And we're out here now and I'm just so happy for how far I've come. He's doing perfectly fine. So I didn't have anything to worry, but he's doing perfectly fine. So I'm thankful. And my family's all well as well. We're all happy. We're all happy. <laughs> I saw the video, you reuniting with your mom and your son, yes. and, and that was, you know, know, that was, I know. I'm not usually an emotional guy, but that, that, that brought tears to my Are you eyes. serious? I, I oh, wow, for real, wow, oh, well, that's really, I mean, that was honestly a very genuine moment. Uh, first of all, I was surprised, it was not, I had no idea, and I wasn't expecting it because I know I just came out of the house on, on the day before. Um, I didn't expect that they would be able to make plans. My family is not here in Lagos, they're actually in Abuja. You know, it sounded like you, it, it was, it was sacrifice. It was a huge sacrifice you had to make going into that house. You know, leaving okay. all that you love behind, that was tough. 
So what, what were you hoping to get out of this experience? First of all, um, everybody knows that the Big Brother Ninja show is a platform that really catapults you to higher, to, to the skies really. There's no limits with, with this platform really. Um, so I don't see anybody that would pass on this opportunity because everybody's different. But personally for me, I got the opportunity and I was going to grab it. Um, I was mostly, the main reason that I went on the show was, you know, for the experience. Um, I wanted to experience it. I wanted to, and I did experience it and get so many, I learned so many lessons out of that show um, about myself. Um, a lot of things are very personal to me, a lot of things I've shared, but I've learned so many lessons and I've come out of that experience so much more, I don't know, I've evolved so much um, mentally and emotionally and spiritually and that's a huge win for me and aside from that I have this platform now, um, I'm, I used to be known mostly with the fashion, with my fashion brand, Lorena Ben Fashion, um, but I only recently got into my interior designing and wedding planning so I also wanted to be able to you know put that out there, let people know this is what I'm doing, I'm amazing at it and yeah so that's another thing and also just open my, my mind up to so many new opportunities. I go into the house and I picked up on acting, acting a little bit so I'm also looking forward to brushing up my skills and you know so stuff is so just it's so much everywhere uh, yes yes after a big weather experience trust me everybody becomes an actor you know we had so many tasks that you know put us in situations where we had to ask act if you don't know how to act you will learn the acting by force so yeah a lot of us are now you know trust me we're not all actors yet but some of us definitely will brush up our skills and we're going to aim for that industry. So watch out for us, guys. <laughs> Have you heard the news report that uh, somebody? I think he's a. I think he's a. He's in the Nollywood industry. He said. He said Nollywood is not a dumping ground for BB and Ajay big T's. So somebody <laughs> yeah. already has an issue. <laughs> Oh my chest, that's hot for, oh my God. But I mean, never say never, you never know. I feel like we've had so many amazing actors and actresses um, out of people in Nigeria. I'm not saying everybody's going to go into acting or do acting, but I think it's fair yeah. for everybody to try out what they want to try out. If it works for you, it works for you. I don't think it's fair to say, oh, don't, you can't come here because you're from Big Brother in Nigeria or whatever, you know. But I understand what he means. I mean, yeah, not everybody can say I'm going to be an actor or I'm an actor, but we've found something new that we want to try out and it's only fair that we're allowed to try it out. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, we've had amazing actors come out of Big Brother 9 that are doing amazingly well right now. So, I mean, kudos to them, yeah. Speaking of acting, right, were there any point in time in the house you felt like you had to put up your front, you had to act, you had to either act strong or act weak or play out a strategy? Was there any parts of you that, I mean, you're out now, that you felt like at some point in time it was acting? Hmm, I wouldn't know. Um, to be honest, um, Going to the house, I didn't have a strategy. I don't know you guys hear this a lot, but it's because honestly, I didn't know what to expect. Um, it's hard, like I said in one of my previous interviews, with this show, you're getting to a house with, 20, with in our case, 26 strangers that never met each other before in most cases, you know. So going into, I mean, when you have strategies, because you know what you're trying to do, you know who you're dealing with, you know, so you're kind of able to now create a strategy. But in this case, you don't know what you're expecting. Aside from even the housemates, it's the Big Brother show. It's the Big Brother show. Big Brother is known to not be predictable. You cannot predict the guy. So what you won't come strategize, you know. So in my own case, anyway, you know, I wanted to at least go in there first, you know. So I didn't really go in there with the strategy. And once I got in there, I realized that, oh, um, well, I've started this way. It has to continue that way. I'm not going to now start coming up with them, my new acting skills to you know get to the top. Because at the end of the day, man, you end up playing yourself. So I just really decided to stick to who I am. And if you can call it my strategy, being who I am, which is what I was anyways. And I was just hoping that it would take me as far as possible in the game. And I mean, I got to the seventh week, and um, and I'm very thankful for how far I've come. I'm very grateful for it, to be honest. I feel like, and some people feel this way as well that you, you kind of held back parts of yourself in some ways, either, you know, because you're thinking about what the people you're representing, including your son. So okay. were there parts of you you had to hold back, withhold? Okay. No, I understand that. The people okay. outside. 
that yeah. you, we didn't get um, to see. So I understand that you know most people obviously didn't know me before I come before I go on the show, but there's it's, it's, there's select people that know me that know me know me. I have lots of friends and I have lots of family. I have a huge family. These are people that really know me, and even people that I've dated in the past would know like this is who Jackie Bent is. And it takes me a while to get to certain places with people. And I've always abided by my own rules, and my rule is, yes, my son is watching. And I know people misconstrued or misconstrued what I said, but my son is watching, and it means, um, even outside of the house, I've always said this, my son is watching. Um, he's seeing me, he's on the phone with me, he's on, he's, on, he's on Instagram, but he has an iPad, you know. And the, the internet is real, and the internet is going to be there forever. It never forgets. So even if my son doesn't see things now, he's going to see it in the future. You know, aside from that as well, he's in school. You don't know what other kids are watching and telling each other and what's going to get into my son's here. So what I can control is how I carry myself inside and outside of the house. And I've really stuck by that. So me going into the house is the same way I carry myself outside or more. He's watching me, even outside of the house. And um, so, yeah, and aside from even just him, it's how I choose to live my life. It's who I am. And that's pretty much it. I understand that people don't understand me, and that's fine, but that's pretty much who I am, really. Um, it wasn't a yes, I had to, I felt the need to have to explain it because people would ask me certain things. Like, you know, when I feel like I'm pushed to the wall, I would explain, look, my son is watching me. That's the most. I don't know, logical explanation I could possibly give, you know, understand, if you don't say anything, you'll just understand, okay, this, this is basic, understand this, you know, so that's, so I'll try to explain things, and that's why I would say, okay, things like that, oh, my son is watching me, really, which, which is a fact, you know, my son, my son's always watching me, he's sitting down right here watching me from across the room, okay? <laughs> I think it tells me something, I think it tells me that, by the way, how many times did you try to audition for Big Brother? I tried it three times. The first time, um, I got, I almost, yeah, I tried it three times. The first time I didn't get re inside, really, it was a physical one and it was very crazy. And I have like a phobia for crowded spaces, so I couldn't really proceed. Mm. Yes, but, um, but I applied last year again. I actually applied. Um, I got to a few stages, but not all the way there. And, um, and then this year, yeah, it clicked and I just knew it was meant to happen. <laughs> I like that. So, so telling me, me knowing how many times you, you've tried to apply for, to get into the house and knowing from other people as well, right, who have similar experiences, it's like you wanted it yeah. bad. You wanted to get in there bad. Yes. But you weren't desperate enough to push beyond certain limits. You still had boundaries like, I want this bad but not bad enough that I would throw all caution to the wind and all. And, you know, I, I think Absolutely. that tells me something. That's what it tells me. Am I, am I onto Absolutely. something then? Yes, I mean, something I was just saying in the house as well, oh, well the most you'll be in Big Brother House is 10 weeks. After that, the show is over. That's just 10 weeks out of your entire life. You still have your entire life to live and account for. So that 10 weeks, like I don't have, to, I'm not going to do anything that 10 weeks that I know I can control that would affect the rest of my life negatively. So what I can do, what, can, what I can control, and that's, I know we're all human and some of us sleep here and there, but what I can control, I will definitely control to avoid anything that I would regret or have to deal with mentally, you know, in the future. I mean, I'll have to deal with certain decisions that I've made for the rest of my life. Because I'm a big brother in Nigeria show for 10 weeks, I'm not going to make any decision that's going to now, you know, compromise my mental health, you know. Yeah, so big deal. Yes. I think you've done a really good job of that. Like, I'm, thank you, I'm, I'm thank you. No, I thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You said you you had some experiences, some stuff you learned. So, what are some of your biggest lessons and takeaways from your time in the Big Brother House? Ah, uh, Omar, definitely patience. Um, again, not a lot of people know me, but people that know me that are watching the show, I'm sure they're looking at it and just, I'm sure they put the skin in their faces like, is this Jackie? Is this actually Jackie? Because I'm actually the most impatient person. Um, I tell you, I'm, like, I'm actually very impatient. Um, but in the house, surprisingly, I don't know where this where it came from. I'll call it a talent now. I, I have that talent that I just became very patient. I think, you know, I got into that situation and I knew I was having to deal with so many strangers. I knew that I had to be there for, for a while and I knew I had to come up with a coping mechanism to survive and play the game as best as I could. So I was able to develop that. Um, also, attaching myself emotionally to a guy on any level which has been very difficult for me. Um, I've struggled with that a lot in my past relationships and um, yeah, just getting close to Michael as quickly as I did, um, 
I, I really I really like that about my experience too because I never thought I could do that before. So that's another thing I've learned, you know, I'm, that I'm able to open up and I'm looking forward to opening up more in the future emotionally. What makes it difficult to attach yourself emotionally to a guy? I'm trying to, I'm asking for a friend. I understand. Um, honestly, it's very difficult to explain. In my case, um, I think I had a bad experience or bad experiences in the past that caused me to kind of come up with a coping mechanism to kind of protect myself. And in the process of doing that, I think I ended up trying to protect myself so much that I became a different person. You know, I was completely now like guarded, very guarded, to the point that it was very, it's been very difficult to, you know, break those walls. It's almost been impossible. In fact, like I've been saying, my last, my prior request last year was I wanted to fall in love. I was like, oh my God, I want to fall in love. Like, I don't even mind if I'm going to get out to make it gay. Like, let me just, I want, I miss the feeling of actually feeling that way. That's how bad it has been for me. So, yeah, I can't really say what exactly, I but I think it's something. Too. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and I see people doing it and it's beautiful. So I hope to have that too, you know, like actual, like, <laughs> I don't want to say stupid love, but actual love. But yeah, I mean, I can't really say what it is but um i think it's something that took time so it's like a wall that was built over a long time and now it's so solid that it just take a lot of explosive to make it fall apart so but people saying, that kind of helped it are you saying you've fallen in love no no so i've been working on some hashtags that were sent in from the fans i, I didn't pick this you know so you you mentioned michael which is Nice. He's a nice guy. I spoke to him last week. He's, he's okay. Um, and you're you're possibly exploring stuff, you know, seeing where things lead you. Um. Well, I'm open to every possibility. Yes. <laughs> I also feel that because you're in the house, it was a very enclosed space, so you didn't really yeah. have enough options. You so you're open to just so not, that not just <laughs> Is that what you're saying? other people, right? I mean, it's not really my priority right now. I like that. But I know okay. they, I'm not really trying to, you know, whatever mm -hmm. happens, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't like But that right guy. now, like it's definitely my go. <laughs> now, this is a totally unrelated question, okay? Just tell me what sounds nice to you, right? Uh, it's a hashtag. Um, Jackie Chu, Jackie C, or Chuki B. What is that? I'm trying to see where Michael's name fits in that. Or oh, is no, it somebody no, no, else's name I'm Michael, hearing? I know, I know, I know. I just said, let me just, let me just be sure. Hmm. Chuki B. Did you say Chuki B? So there's, yeah, so you like Chuki B. So there's Jackie Chu, there's Jackie C, and there's Chuki B. Chuki B sounds nice. Is that the hashtag for this interview? I like that Chuki B. Okay, well, we'll get back to you on that Chuki B. Ah. Okay, cool. So back to the house, right? You, you, you visited yeah. the... <laughs> you visited the lounge, um, oh. the head of house lounge three times, right? Um, yes. Does that make you feel pretty confident that you are really going to go for I just might get in for the money this time? Hell no. I don't see how anybody would think that that's... No, being in the head of house room does not guarantee you entry or doesn't... It does that to me. Like, I mean, I enjoyed being there. I mean, the privacy and all the benefits that comes with it, to be honest. I'm very grateful that I got the opportunity three times, yes. But did I ever think that that made me a strong player or made, made me feel like, oh, I was going to win the money? Hell no, it never crossed my mind because it doesn't, to me anyway, it makes no sense why I would think that way. It doesn't give you, really the head of house room doesn't give you any extra i mean i don't know what you guys are seeing on the outside but on the inside no for me mm -hmm. i'm just grateful that i was able to get the opportunity to experience that you know that lounge for you know three times to be honest but no never did i think that it was making me anything um close to the money no 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 not that mm -hmm. also with your relationships with um other housemates i mean you had your ups and downs um yeah. one person you didn't seem to get along with um or i mean you tell me where, how does your relationship with Angel, what does that look like, considering there was a, some sort of a tribe? Yeah, we, I mean, in the beginning, we were definitely like really close, I guess. But yeah, we did have some misunderstandings, you know, um, that we spoken about um, and cleared out. Yes, it had never been, it was never really the same anymore as, I mean, we're human. But um, yeah, since then, we've been really cool and cordial and respect each other. And yeah, it's all love, man. There's no hard feelings, honestly. So there's yeah. a chance for that relationship to kind of grow outside the house or, you know, really Yeah, if, if it happens, no, yeah. Def I mean, if it happens, then yeah, you know, 
the longer you stay in the house, the more you kind of understand people. Um, you get to understand people and, you know, learn to, how to deal with them. So I know that I was definitely, um, we had an issue in the house and I was definitely hurt by it because I was definitely close to her at the time. But, I mean, we've moved on. I've, I've definitely moved on and it's nothing but positive vibes to Angel, to be honest. And I wish her all the best, yeah. You've moved on, you moved on out of the house. Let's talk about your plans for the future. I mean, this is the point. Sell your market, tell me. Let's talk about your plans for the future. Apart from, obviously, us going on a date, but what else do you want? Okay, I see you, Shane. That shot really hard. In fact, you have brought your whole rifle. I can see you. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. Like I said so many times already. Um, like I said already, so many times already, um, this platform has been phenomenal. It's been amazing. I don't think I've even, I, am, I think I'm yet to understand the full thing yet. I mean, like it's crazy. I'm very thankful and I'm looking forward to all the amazing th doors that are going to open up. So many are already opening up and I'm thankful. There's so much love as well. For me right now, um, I'm definitely going to be pushing my businesses, you know, my event planning, my wedding planning. Um, and my interior design, also still my fashion, pushing that on a larger scale. That's really my passion, to be honest. I'm a very business oriented person, so that's my Me main too. focus. Me too, wow, who the fuck? I see, I see, yeah. I see. Uh, yeah, I see. You know, I, I MC weddings as well, so we, we have some sort of ah, business So we can work together, I, I see. Nice. Exactly. we can work together. <laughs> Talk about how we can you know, help each other out. You know, and I, I but have yeah. to say, you know, it was it was lovely having this conversation with you. I'm not yeah, I'm a fan, it's you know, I'm a Jaguar. I don't have like I mean this is a Jaguar uniform, you know. I'm a Jaguar. Ah, so you're an original Jaguar, I see. Ooh. Okay, Jaguar. <laughs> Okay, Jaguar. Oh, well, you're going to, ah, you're going to have to teach me that one. We'll never be able to do it for my Jaguars, you know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. I'm a Jaguar. I hope my Jaguars will not kill me for this. So, I'm learning. I'm learning. Don't worry. We'll perfect it. We'll perfect our exactly. roar. <laughs> oh, so we come to the end of this it's interview. Fun. I've had it's some fun. fun. Wow. Sure. Uh, to everybody watching this, to keep up with Jackie B. Um, you can follow her across all her social media platforms. It's on the screen right now. Follow me on mine yeah. across your screen right now. And you know, Bella N, Bella Nija. It's on yep. www.bellanija.com at Bella Nija online on this Instagram. You know, Jaguars, let's see why you feel. Show her some love in the yeah, comment section. Yes, please come through, guys. Let's show them what we're made of. Let's show like them what that. we're made of. Thanks for opening Jaguars. <laughs> All right, yeah. so till the next interview, I go by the name of Chu oh. Chu. This has been Jackie Bent, and you bet yeah. my heart in a thousand places, girl. And I will Ooh. see you when I see Ooh, you. Oh, I saw you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.